Welcome back to the Motor Bench Development Suite video series. In this video, I will give an overview of our DSPIC, DSE based motor control development boards that can be used with the Motor Bench Development Suite. In general, any of our development boards can be used to create applications for pumps, fans, and compressors for appliances, industrial automation processes, and automotive applications. This is our MCLV low voltage motor control board. The MCLV2 low voltage motor control board supports three phase brushless DC or BLDC motors and permanent magnet synchronous motors or PMSMs that are rated with a terminal voltage up to 48 volts. Right out of the box, this board works very well with 24 volt DC Hearst motors. It can use our DSPIC33C and E motor control plug-in modules or pins that insert into the board like so. It comes with the DSPIC33 EP256MC506 internal op amp motor control pin, but you can use any of the supported pins. Please review the release notes from the download collateral folder to review the list of supported pins. Please note that motor parameter measurement, which is demonstrated in the Advanced Features and Techniques video, is only supported by the DSPIC33 EP256MC506 external op-amp PIM when it is connected to the MCLV-2 board. You should also check the placement of the external op-amp configuration matrix board on the J14 connector, which is right here. You want to make sure that you're using the correct matrix board based on whether the motor control PIM is an external or internal op amp type. This matrix board ensures the correct configuration of this development board and signal routing to the installed PIM. Make sure that the JP1, JP2, and JP3 jumpers are connected properly and they're in the correct positions like so. Connect the USB to logic level UART converter cable into the J10 connector of the MCLV2 board and the other end to one of the USB ports on your PC, like so. Connect either the MPLAB ICD5 or MPLAB Picket5 debugger programmer to the board and the other end to your PC, like so. In this example, we're using the MPLAB ICD5. Be sure to also connect the phase wiring of the BLDC or PMSM motor into the M1, M2, and M3 connectors as shown here. When you've made all these connections, plug in the 24 volt power supply to the J2 barrel connector and then power up the board by plugging the power connector into the outlet. Please visit the MCLV-2 product page to review all the PIMs supported by this board and scan the QR code. 